Okay, for this next project, what I want to do is uh, make a pano and then um, then change the sky and try different effects on it. I like that photo. This is a photo taken in Paris of uh, the Eiffel Tower, but between two buildings. So that's the first photo. That's the second photo. Uh, the third, fourth, and fifth. So first photo. I think this one is a bit blurry. Let's let's see the speed. One sixtieth of a second. That's pretty pretty. I shot this, uh, yeah, on held. So this one is a bit blurry. But that's a good thing about Pano. Sometimes you can just, uh, you know, make that uh, go away. I mean, you know, when I do the merging, it's. Uh, I don't think people is gonna notice that some part of it is a bit blurry because it's gonna get all the data from the before and after photo. And it's not so much blurry, it's just a very little bit blurry. Okay, anyway. So let's try if we can make something artistic with this one. Um, I'm gonna open up the shadows and bring on the highlights. And then I'm gonna do my whites. Okay, until it clips and back and down. And I'm gonna do my blacks on this one. Ooh, the blacks, I need to go way down. Something like that. Yeah, I want some real contrast to it. I think the colors are pretty boring on this one. So I'm going to I'm going to probably make this one a bit warmer. Like a bit uh yeah. Uh no, I'm going to leave it as such. I'm not not going to touch the colors. I'll try some color effects afterwards. Um let's see. So that's a JPEG file. Yeah, it's old JPEG. I shot this in JPEG. I don't know why I did that. I said it's been a while ago. Add a bit of clarity, but I think we still get something decent with this photo. Okay, and then select all three. Oh no, you know, before I do that, I want to um, take care of any noise because it's 250. 250 ISO, even during day, can give a bit of noise. So I'm going to put the noise reduction around 20. And then I'm going to get the sharpening around 80. Right? And then the masking as usual, so that it masks anything which is where there is sky. Let's back down a little bit. Want to make sure the masking, I press the whole, the old key to see that, yeah, that it's black whenever we don't want any sharpening on the sky. It just makes noise, that's all it does. It doesn't sharpen, you cannot sharpen sky. Okay, and then uh, profile correction, maybe R remove chromatic aberration and auto upright. Yeah, that's kind of cool and better. Let's see if that works and then we're going to sync that on all our photos. Okay, and then right click, edit, uh, merge to panorama in Photoshop. Okay, click OK, and that's going to take a while, so I'm going to put on pause while it's doing that. This is how it comes out, it's kind of, uh, of weird. I don't think I'm going to keep the top here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command E, or I'm going to go to layers, sorry, and flatten image, flat everything. Then I, I'm going to duplicate the layer, and I'm going to go into that magical new filter, which I love, filter, uh, adaptive, uh, adaptive wide angle. And what that's going to do is I'm going to use it to make uh, the building straight. For example, this, I'm going to click here, and that creates a line. That line I'm going to make going down the whole way here, and then I'm going to right click on top and say vertical. That means I want this to be vertical. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna take a line here, follow that building, let go, right click and say, I want this to be vertical, all right? And then I'm still gonna do one on the Eiffel Tower. Just gonna go in the center, I wanna make sure it's straight. And I'm gonna tell this one, I want this to be vertical. Good. Um, yeah, and then also it's good to, when you do that, uh, so that you don't have rounded stuff in the middle, just put in a few lines here and just going to make sure it's not too much rounded. Okay, then I'm going to press on, on OK. And uh, I'm going to, so now that's the before, after, it's just more straight. I'm going to get that background off and I'm going to take my crop tool and I'm going to crop a lot of this photo. Because, uh, yeah, I just want the buildings like this. I don't think I want that much of the Eiffel Tower. I think something like that could be interesting. Because I, we don't have it anywhere on top. I don't want this to be too much of a vertical photo. I think it's going to be more dynamic if it's something like that. Like to the limit of that building, maybe. Just add a bit more of that building and press enter. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and uh, so let's see the size of it. 
uh, yeah, it's still it's still pretty big, you know, 2348 by 3663. Okay, that's a decent photo. So now let's do some sky replacement. You see, it's pretty sharp. Yeah, it's pretty, it's decent sharp. And uh, so let's let's add some skies. Now on this one, I want to try different sky and see what works the best. I haven't I haven't tried anything. I, I didn't do it before. I'm just gonna try different things. Uh, let's go crazy with something like that. You know, I want to try something like that. A bit of a sunset sky. See, see if that could work in any way. So V, and I, I put it on top. Okay, I back out. Command T, and I'm gonna because now my photo is pretty small. I'm gonna make sure it fits. Something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try something like that. Okay, and I'm gonna put it in multiply mode, for example. See what that gives me as a starting point. I like what it does on the bottom. It's kind of weird that it does over the, the 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 top here. Let's add a black and white layer on the top of it. See if in black and white it could be interesting. Hmm, that could be interesting in black and white. You see, it could be interesting. Interesting. Okay, you know what? That's one possibility. So. I'm going to take that out and take that out and just try one more sky. Complete different feeling. Uh, I know that I said that you should use the sky from the same time of the day. And this was shot, I think, in the evening. But, you know, rules are there to be uh, uh, violated, I can say. Let's try a different feeling. Something uh, a bit more... Nah, something like that. Let's try that, for example. Or that. No, let's try this. Okay, Command E. All right, let's put it on top of that. So that's that's what I do a lot. I just try out skies. Command T. Uh, okay, let's put it in multiply mode already. See how it fits. Not so bad. It kind of looks weird, but you know, we have to find the right thing or whatever that is, you know. Um, yeah, I kind of preferred the one we had before. I think this one was kind of uh, more interesting somehow. Uh, it just looks weird. Uh, we can try to make it into color. Okay, let's try one more. Uh, let's try one more. Something different. This one, I think. Yeah, I'm going to try this one. Right click. Edit. Photoshop CC. Okay. V. And then let's just put this over that. Okay, same, same thing. Command T. So, you know, it's it's a lot of trying and errors, but the whole idea is to find the right sky. Okay, let me... Like this, and maybe squeeze it a little bit. Not too much, because it's going to look weird if you squeeze it too much. But a little bit squeeze can be fine. Like this. Okay. Make it bigger, and then put this in multiply mode. That's interesting. But I don't think it's as much interesting as this one. This one is crazy. I like when it's crazy. It's gonna take a bit of work. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go on this one. So I'm gonna throw that layer away. I'm gonna throw that layer away. Oops, sorry. That layer away. All right. So first masking. I wanna try something here. Um, masking. All right. So as usual, black as a foreground. I've got a white mask and 20% opacity. And um, back here a little bit it looks weird here on the buildings so I'm gonna take it out here but I like how it does you know a little on, on the on the um, on the trees it makes interesting light on the trees I think but on the the problem with that is sometimes you just go with too much drama you know, it's just too, too much of a drama I think I'm gonna lower uh, the opacity of that layer like that I want some of that stuff but not all of it okay or maybe not one thing you can do is just bring it 100% and uh, and just you know wherever you don't want it you just put a bit of your mouth okay and if you took too much out you can just press X and bring it back could be interesting to bring back here make like a little vignette effect uh, oh you know what I'm Sorry, I made a mistake. Look at this. I was painting, not on the mask, but I was, but on the photo. You can see here. So I'm gonna press Alt Command Z several times to come back. 
two and so I stuck painting on the wrong thing here okay that's how far I went on the history um, you know what actually I'm gonna redo this okay that can happen that can happen so uh, which one was it I think it was this one okay V and as I said, when I have a mistake, I never take it out because if I do it, you will do it probably also. So make this the size of uh, of uh, of the photo. I like this 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 thing here. Okay, make this smaller. Make this smaller. Make this smaller. All right. Okay, back to multiply. Put an as a mass to it. Make sure you click on the mass. Take the brush. Okay, and let's brush this away. I'm still at 20% of brush. Um, of the Yeah, this is too dark there. But I like what it does here on the bottom, so it sort of works. Okay, then what you can do is also lowers your opacity of 10% and just, you know, take some out, you know, so it doesn't look too much weird. Yeah, 10% sometimes works better because as you paint, it just doesn't take so much out, you know. It's on the gradient. Okay, let's see. Before, after, before, after. Certainly did add some drama to the photo. Uh, I like that. Um, okay, let me bring back some drama. So I press X. I'm just going to paint here. I want to bring back a bit of drama. I think I took too much out. Here was nice. Uh, you know, it's just a... You have to try on the trees. I want to bring some back and take some out on the Eiffel Tower. Actually, make the Eiffel Tower a bit more atmospheric, like if it was, if it was, um, you know, sort of missing. Not missing, but uh, like in the fog, as it was originally. But uh, yeah, something like that. But I still think it's more interesting. You know, it, it just this way is more interesting than that. Um, okay. Uh, maybe a bit, a bit too much, hold on. And one thing you can do, if you think you, you mask too much out, you can click on the mask and you have, make sure you have the property panel here. If you don't have it, you go to Windows, Properties, and you put it under your uh, uh, your layers panel, and you can just lower the density of the mask. Uh, this way, if you lower 100%, it's totally white, and if you just, you can, you know, sometimes I just took too much out, so I can just put some of that stuff back in that way, for example. Okay, I kind of like that. Now I'm ready for a double processing back in Lightroom. So file, uh, close, save, and um, let's go back to Lightroom. I'm gonna put on, I'm back in Lightroom. And uh, so let's go for some double processing. So uh, let's make this a bit smaller. All right, uh, let's see if I open up the shadows and bring down the highlights and do my usual whites. Okay, and the blacks. All right, now I want to try something. I want to try to get all the colors out except this color here. See if that does anything good. Like uh, I want to try to make like a black and white because I don't like the orange on the on the on the building. So let's see here. Um, I'm just gonna take whatever is in the sky and I'm gonna lower that color, whatever is there, I'm gonna lower the color. What I do is I took this tool and I'm just clicking and I wanna make like a selective black and white. Okay, sort of like that. I think that's pretty decent. It's, so all the colors are at zero except this one. So the building is a bit brown and the trees and uh, yeah, and there's a bit of color here and there. I think it's kind of cool. Maybe a bit too much. I'm going to bring back some of the colors. Not the I don't know, just to give it like a little artistic look. Yeah. But you know, now we've added really drama with this guy. You know? uh, yeah, I don't know. a bit of color there, I think I like that. And to finish it off, I think I might just add a little bit of I'm just 
trying to, you know, play around this photo shop. But, you know, that's the original photo, it's kind of like boring, and that's how it looks now. It's a bit, you know, it's got drama to it. And, you know, again, if you think it's too much, you could just layer the opacity uh, of, of, of the, the mask, of the clouds, you know. But that's, you know, what I like to do is I just, like, randomly uh, to take some photos and just try replacing this guy and sometimes you've got happy accidents, sometimes you've got awful stuff. This one I kind of like, but, you know, maybe we'll try some different sky on it. But, you know, that was just to show you some different sky replacement examples on this one. 